Hi everyone, welcome to Penglam Quark video tutorial. This video will be the first lecture series of plant anatomy. This talk will be an introductory talk and I'll talk some of the backgrounds of plant anatomy, history, etc. based on Manipur University prescribed syllabus. In this video, I'll talk about plant anatomy that is unit for Botany BSc second semester Manipur University prescribed syllabus. Under plant anatomy, We'll discuss cell structure, cell wall and cell inclusion, organization of fecal meristem, structure and distribution of simple and complex tissue, primary and secondary growth in plants, anomalous growth in amaranthas, mirabilis, and dracinia stem. So this unit it will carry 15 marks. This unit introduced the internal structure of higher plants. The study of internal structures and organization of plants is called uh, plant anatomy. It is derived from the Greek word ana, that means as under, temnin, that is to cut. Plants have cells as the basic unit. The cells are organized into tissue. All right. So plant cells are organized into tissue. That means different types of cells will combine together to form a tissue. The tissue in turn are organized into an organs. The different organs in plants have different internal structure. It is studied by means of dissection, that means cutting and microscopic examination. So if you see here, this is a picture representing Nehemia Grew, known as the father of plant anatomy. Nehemia Grew is best remembered for his careful and novel observation on plant anatomy. For his role in the development of comparative anatomy and as one of the first naturalists to utilize the microscopy in the study of plant morphology. He is an Englishman. And this is a picture representing Catherine Isau. So he got a prize that is National Medals of Science in the year 1989 because he wrote a book that is Anatomy of Seed Plants. Seed Plants it includes Angiosperm and Gymnosperm. In recognition of our distinguished uh, service to science, he was awarded National Medal of Science in the year 1989 by USA because he wrote a book called that is Anatomy of Seed Plants. Levels of Organization in Living Organisms Atoms, as we already know, are the basic building blocks of ordinary matters, and which in turn form most of our object around you. All right, and different objects around you are formed because of atoms. And atoms compose of particles called protons, electrons, and neutrons. And groups of atoms will combine together to form a molecules. You know, here many atoms will combine together to form a molecules, and many groups of or groups of molecules will combine together to form a cells organelle, then mean the substances which are present inside the cell structure. And after that one, groups of cells will form a tissue, and a group of tissue will form a organ. So what are tissue? Tissue are groups of cells which perform the same function. And organs, groups of organs will combine together to form an organism or different parts of the uh, plants in case of plants all right different parts of the plants in case of plants and after that one an organ system will combine together to form an organism organism in turn will form a population that means groups of organism will form a population and groups of ecosystem population will form an ecosystem and groups of ecosystem will combine together to form a biosphere this is a picture representing the structural parts of a vascular plants you know here if you see this the tip portion will be called pseudapex or apical meristem and the bottom portion it will be called root apex or root apical meristem so if you cut the stem in a transverse section you will find different components that means the outer portion that is called epidermis and after that one you will find a cortex layer made up of parenchyma cells and after that one endodermis and after endodermis, you'll find phloem. And after phloem, you'll find cambium. And after cambium, you'll find xylem. And the middle portion, it will be called the pit. Here, this is the stem, the leaf. This is the longitudinal section. This is LS. And this is also a LS of root. So if you see the internal structure of this root, this root, root is cut in a transverse section, you will find here root hair and the outer layer that is epiblema and cortex, xylem, phloem and endodermis. The mode of arrangement of these vascular bundles 
or this xylem phloem where they were arranged in a radial here they arranged in a conjoined vascular bundles all right vascular bundle it will include xylem cambium and phloem that means xylem cambium and phloem this is one vascular bundle all right and this is also another vascular bundle but here xylem phloem they were arranged in different radius and here we'll have the root cap and root apical meristem merismatic cells are those cells which keep on dividing all right they keep on dividing and dividing and they will produce a new tissue or a new cells they are called merismatic cells or tissue milestone in plant anatomy these are important for objective uh, question during your exam and you have to memorize all this in the year 1837, Hertig coined the term sieve tube. In the year 1839, Selden coined the term Colin Kaima. In the year 1857, Hofmeister proposed apical cell theory. And we'll study this one in details. In the year 1858, Nagali coined the term xylem and phloem. Merisem and it was further supported of apical cell theory. And in the year 1865, Metinas coined the term sclerenchyma in the year 1868. Hanstein proposed histogen theory. 1885, T. S. Schritz coined the term sclerites and named four types of sclerite by Branchi, Marco, Osteo, Astro in the year 1889. In the year 1914, Herbert Land coined the term xylem and S. Hardrome and phloem S. Leptom and classify of Meristem. 1924, Smith proposed Tunica Corpus theory, which we'll be studying in, uh, in the next slide. And in the year 1926, Scoop, he proposed mass rib and plant meristem. In the year 1946, Blots discovered the trichosclerites. In the year 1956, Fofam explained the organization of sewed apex of angiosperm. 1955, Duchagi. Duchenne discovered a annular cholenchyma. 1961, Close proposed question center concept. That means in the rules. Okay, this one. 1963, Senio term trackage. All this, the definition and the mode of arrangement of tissue, which they propose, will be studying in details in the next video lecture. According to syllabus, that is unit four plan anatomy. This is the first topic. That is plant cell structure. Plant cells have a unique set of organelles that distinguish them from cells of animals and fungi because of the presence of organelles called chloroplasts and vacuoles and at the same time they even have a cell wall which the animal cell does not have. Alright, so these are some unique and at the same time they can prepare their own food. This is a picture representing plant cells and the cells components or the substances which are present inside the plant cells. Let's see cell wall, that means the outer covering of the cells. It is hard and rigid. This cell wall in details we'll discuss in the next video. And the components of cell wall also will be discussed in the next video. And next to cell wall, we'll have the plasma membrane. When you talk about plasma membrane, that means which cover the cell cytoplasm. It is presence as beneath the cell wall. All right. And here we have mitochondria. Mitochondria, as we already know, it is known as the powerhouse of the cell because they can manufacture ATP. How did they manufacture ATP? By breaking down the glucose with the help of uh, glycolysis. All right. And they produce ATP. That means adenosine triphosphate. And we have here ribosome. Ribosome is made up of RNA plus proteins. Uh, they are needed for DNA transcription translation. And after and protein synthesis. Next, here we have route endoplasmic reticulum. Route endoplasmic reticulum are those endoplasmic reticulum where proteins or ribosomes attach on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum and we have nucleus inside the nucleus uh, are the dna of the plant cells will be present in the nucleus and somewhere in the nucleus here is a nucleus nucleus mean the place where uh, ribosomes were synthesized all right and nuclear envelope and nuclear pore nuclear pore is a pore where after DNA replication, transcription, uh, the cell they need to, or the DNA they need to undergo transcription to come out that DNA or mRNA from the nucleus 
they will travel through the nuclear pole and through the cell cytoplasm. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum, this one. Why you call smooth endoplasmic? Because ribosome were not attached or present on the surface of that endoplasmic reticulum. And the function of endoplasmic reticulum is that they modify proteins after transcription and translation. And we have here Golgi complex. Golgi complex, uh, I call it a postman. It is a postman because the proteins which are further uh, transported from this endoplasmic reticulum, they further modify it or they will carry to different parts of the cells or outside the cell uh, cytoplasm because of that one. It is a postman. That means delivering substances which are prepared by the cells and cytoskeletons is divided into microtubules intermediate filaments and actin filaments right, when you talk about cytoskeleton uh, just like the skeleton in case of human being then when they provide the framework of the cells all right the, the substances or some amount of proteins they will combine together and they form a cytoskeleton and cytoplasm means the fluid substances fluidity substance which are present inside the cells next we have the chloroplast where photosynthesis takes place inside the chloroplast Thylakoids will be present inside the thylakoids. Chlorophyll will be present because of chlorophyll. Uh, photosynthesis, you know, will take place. Then in the light reaction will take place. And here we have the perisosome. So this perisosome is a small substances, all right. And mostly uh, they have two functions: break down fatty acids to be used for forming membranes as a fuel for respiration and transfer hydrogen from compounds to oxygen to create hydrogen peroxide and then convert hydrogen peroxide into water so they can produce water at the same time they can also produce hydrogen peroxide so here next we have the central vacuoles so these vacuoles mostly they can store sugar or fats and the substances or the layer which cover the vacuole they will call tonoplast all right tonoplast it's they call tonoplast. The last one there is plasmodesmata. So this small small hole which are present on the walls of plant cell. Plant cell wall they are called plasmodesmata and it is an opening the cell wall that function in cell to cell communication. As we already know that plasmodesmata are microscopic channels. All right, they are microscopic small channels which transverse then which cut through the cell wall of the plant cells and in case of some algae cells all right and this plasmodesmata the function is that it enable transport and communication between them or in another term it is also known as a door or and they can give signal from as you see and here also another cells will be there another cells will be there and the, the cell walls are there and they'll pass information or to give signal this plasmodesmata it is very important for plant cells because they can pass an information from one cell to another cells in the next video i'll talk in details about cell wall i hope that's helpful